Okay, here we are. We're back to talk about complexity. So we just looked at systems and we looked at a relatively simple one, had a few elements um, and interrelationships, but of course, uh, systems can over time evolve to become uh, very complex. And uh, we'd say complexity is a property or a feature of a system um, that is characterized as having uh, many parts, many diverse parts, and um, they may have adaptive capacity and they are highly interconnected and interdependent, uh, creating emergent overall dynamics. And when you see a system like that, you can say that it is complex. So examples of this might include uh, com conflict zones. If we took something like uh, the Iraq war, uh, we would see actually many diverse interconnected uh, interdependent dynamic elements, whether those are you know, the local cultures, uh, the political system there, the natural resources that may be complex around, you know, finance, money, uh, of course, international politics, so on and so forth. Uh, cities, corporate supply chains, financial markets, or ecosystems, these are all complex systems because they have many diverse, interconnected, and interdependent uh, elements that are often adaptive uh, in and of themselves. And through those interactions between the parts, uh, they create a very dynamic um, system that has capacities for self-organization and so forth, and also non-linear behavior uh, at times. Um, okay, so all of these systems have a great many parts. They're, they're diverse. Uh, such as cultures or, or diverse culture uh, creatures in an ecosystem. Elements likewise typically have adaptive capacity and uh, networked patterns emerge out of the local interactions between them, such as traffic jams in a city. No one's planning that, of course. It's just uh, the interaction between all the people in their car. Uh, complex systems have the characteristics of being non-linear with multiple feedback loops that allow for rapid change and make them unpredictable and highly dynamic. Uh, we'll talk more about nonlinearity in a future uh, future card. They're strongly uh, defined by their networked architecture and uh, change over time through evolutionary processes. Because of that high level of uh, interconnectivity and interdependence, we, we need to understand them uh, as networks um, as well. And uh, yeah, this aspect of evolution, no one's in control in a complex system. Um, so evolution acts on the system to select those ones that are best suited and those are the ones that survive and get replicated and the other ones die out. And that's how the system changes on the macro level over time. So we'll look at all those aspects um, in different cards as we go through, but that's just to give you an idea of what we're talking about when we say uh, complexity. Of course, there are different types of systems. There are simple systems. Uh, these have few elements, there's low level of diversity, low level of uh, interdependency and interconnectivity, and there's no emergence, uh, there's limited dynamics, and they're relatively simple to understand. We have complicated systems where there are many parts, uh, many ways of interconnecting them, um, many subsystems and so forth, and one needs to be an expert to understand these systems, like a lorry or an airplane. Um, and then there are complex systems, which are qualitatively different. Um, so the global biosphere is an example, um, incredibly complex because it has all these adapting agents in it that are interacting um, and self-organizing peer to peer and uh, highly inter interdependent. And uh, we can get all sorts of unpredictable and emergent nonlinear behavior out of that that we don't get out of a complicated or simpler system. To understand these systems, you need a, a great amount of uh, experience and insight from different perspectives. There's no one perspective. No expert can really understand this system. You need to build up and synthesize many perspectives uh, on a complex system. So that's a little bit about complexity and what differs um, from a simpler system to a complicated or complex system. And we'll look at all of those as we go through all of those features.